Hey folks, and welcome to the Mind, Body, Soul podcast, which is all about helping people unlock their potential through training the mind, body, and soul. So these are some keeper lit, healthy habit hacks for you to take away from this short podcast, which should come in and around 10 minutes. First thing I'm going to chat to you about is a little thing that I purchased recently called uh, an hourglass. This one Uh, is in fact for half an hour. I find it quite cool in terms of a little productivity hack. So if there's something that I want to make a start on, I literally just turn this over and get the sand running down and do my my 30 minutes just to get started on it. And, you know, a lot of the kind of momentum can then flow from there. So that was a super cool thing. The hourglass also reminds me of a lovely mindfulness technique because as you see at the top, it's broad, then it narrows in the middle where the sand comes through and then it goes broad again. So this is a very simple actual mindfulness practice, So, which involves doing a broad focus in the first minute of your mindfulness practice, which is to check in with how you feel physically and emotionally. Then we narrow the focus, so the part of the hourglass where the sand's coming through and we're narrowing the focus to just zoning in on our breathing. Some people who don't particularly like doing it with their breathing might choose to become aware of a particular part of their body. For example, the feeling of their feet on the floor or their bum in the chair. And then the last bit then is the broad focus again. And what we focus on then is um, the breath within the body and the feeling of the overall body. So that broadens out that focus again. And again, if you're if you're not a big one for or don't particularly like focusing on your breathing, then you do what's called a body scan in that last minute and just kind of make your way down from the head all the way to the tips of the toes and just very gently check in with the different area of your body without judgment. So I like to crack uh, an old joke to begin the, the podcast in earnest. So here we go. Have you heard the one about the butter? I can't tell you, you'll only spread it. Okay, apologies for that. Right, so now a quick hack for mind, body, and soul. All right, so today what we're going to do is for the body, I'm going to talk to you about something called habit stacking. So what habit stacking is, it is identifying something you do on an everyday basis and then replacing it um, or, or adding in some movement. Um, or some exercise. So I'm going to give you a really simple example. It could be that you're waiting for the kettle to boil in the morning. And instead of just waiting, what you might do now is throw in some squats uh, or push-ups or lunges. And there's going to be links to all of those exercises in the show notes, which you can check out and uh, do when you're when you're waiting for the kettle to boil now as, as a sort of a healthy habit hack to match that activity with your, your daily ritual of making a tea or a coffee. Another way you could do this is identify windows of opportunity, like instead of taking the elevator, taking the stairs instead. So that way, yes, you're walking up to your office. I know with people returning to the office now that this could be an option. So, you know, you're going to need to get up those stairs to your office anyway. So why not have it stack and take the stairs instead of the elevator? And that way you're getting yourself, you know, out of a sedentary lifestyle and into one of movement. So then we're going to move from there to a mind concept. So we're going to discuss um, one that I like to think of as being a self-compassion exercise. And it is asking yourself, when you notice that you're being quite negative in your self-talk towards yourself, you're replaying an instant from the past. And it could be the recent past, something that you said today, or it could be something that you, you know, that you replay over and over again from years ago and berate yourself for it. Oh, I was so stupid. Why did I do that? So instead of that, that negative self-talk, you know, recognize this thought pattern and say, how does this help me? So how does this berating myself thought pattern help me? Okay. And what that helps us to do is become more of a friend to ourselves and realize when we do ask the question, how does this help me? We realize that it doesn't help us at all because after a while, the, you know, replaying instances from the past is not going to benefit us. So we may not be able to stop them coming, but we can change our reaction to them. And how does this help me is a great way of doing that. For the soul and healthy habit hack, what I'd like to talk to you about today is, first of all, my definition of soul. I know it's quite a big concept to people, but to make it more tangible, I see it as 
looking to um, cr create a positive imprint on our world through our interactions with others, with other people and nature. So with that in mind, I'd like to ask you to identify an opportunity within your week. So one that I started doing recently is cycling to football training instead of taking the car. So I'd ask you to, to have a think about your own week and, and think of opportunities where you can do something to treat you know, our planet and treat our nature, nature's wellness uh, in a positive light. The other one you might do is just to get more in tune with nature. So if you go out to the back garden or you're going on a walk, try and savor some element of that walk, whether it's just stopping to, you know, to smell a flower or stopping just to breathe in that fresh air or become aware of your surroundings, watch, you know, a team practice their sport and just become immersed in that moment out in nature. Then just a couple of last little things here. My mind, body, soul recommendation is to check out the interview that I did with Tommy Hughes last year, who set the over 60s marathon record. He's an inspiring man. And what this did was, I think it really highlighted the fact of, you know, not seeing age as a crutch, seeing it as just a number and not something that limits us from achieving things that are meaningful to us. So I'm going to link you to that podcast. Tommy's an inspirational man because he had his troubles with depression and alcohol and running helped him to, among other things, running helped him to get, get out of those, um, those problem areas and work towards something positive and meaningful. And then lastly, in the show notes, you'll find a link to a health, wellness and personal productivity 10 step guided document that I've put together. It's a very short and snappy document with some very tangible things that you can incorporate into your everyday for a health, wellness and personal productivity boost. And that's actually it for today. So I hope I've come in in under 10 minutes. I think I have. I hope you've enjoyed it. So look after yourselves, look after each other and remember to keep working or tending to your mind, body, and soul in order to unlock your potential. Have a great day.